Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to my channel Learning with Aisha. Today we are going to talk about The Value of Fear, the fourth and final Sherlock Holmes novel by British writer, writer Arthur Conan Doyle. We are going to summarize Act 1, Scene 1 till 5. In scene number one, we have seen that McMurdo reached Vermissa Valley by train. He produced a piece of paper, glanced at it, and then carefully examined his loaded revolver. Scanlon and Carmack questioned him about his weaponry and purpose. McMurdo revealed his origin as Chicago and his affiliation with ancient order of freemen. They exchanged their secret countersign and suggested him to pay a visit to McGinty, the influential body master, and then disembarked from the train. Later, two police officers approached McMurdo and warned him to be cautious in selecting his friends in Vermissa Valley. In scene number two, the setting is Shafter's Lodging, 1875. Ted Baldwin, a scourer is trying to persuade Etty to accompany him on an out outing. She offers various excuses but eventually agrees to meet him on Friday. Her father, Shafter, disapproves of Baldwin's presence but helpless to stop him. McMurdo arrives at Shafter's lodging, having a pre-booked stay there. Upon encountering Etty, he is charmed by her and finds her delightful. Let's talk about scene number three. Setting Barker Street, 1895. Holmes, the investigator, deciphers a cryptic message and suspects that Professor Moriarty, a mastermind controlling the criminal underworld, is behind it. Watson, his companion, refers to Moriarty as the Napoleon of crime due to his elusive nature. They finally decoded the warning of danger to Mrs. Mr. Douglas at Burlstone Manor when Mr. MacDonald enters and reveals that Mr. Douglas was murdered this morning. Let's move to scene number four. Setting is Union House Salon. 1875. McGinty and his followers are re reading a news article penned by James Stranger, which reveals the secrets of their criminal organization. McGinty ordered to give a harsh lesson to James Stranger for exposing the truth about him. Meanwhile, Scanlon approaches and informs McGinty about his meeting with McMurdo. The last and final scene, scene number five, setting is Burlstone Manor, 1895. A dead body is lying on the floor and Dr. Wood and Sergeant Wilson meticulously examine it. During their investigation, Mason, a detective, informs Sergeant Wilson that MacDonald is expected to arrive soon with Holmes. Dr. Wood spot a triangle on Mr. Douglas's arm but concludes with that it might be a rum thing. Mason investigates from Ames and Barker. The murderer's escape is still unseen. Thank you.